The COVID-19 Enforcement Unit has issued more than 800 citations since the beginning of the year. That's according to Chief Superintendent Shavargo Dames, who warned that the third wave could overtake the country if Bahamians and residents continue to ignore the emergency order. For year to date, we have cited some 831 persons for breach of the COVID-19 protocols. As COVID-19 infections began increasing earlier this year, several officials suggested that greater enforcement of the COVID-19 rules is necessary. Dames, who heads the COVID Enforcement Unit, says while the unit will do its part, it's also incumbent on residents to do their part as well. If we begin to lax ourselves and don't think that it's important to follow the protocols, we will find that this third wave will overtake us and it will take us that much longer uh, to come out of this protocol. Dame said the unit commonly finds people patronizing and operating prohibited businesses like bars. He warned that if caught, people will have to pay for much more than a drink. If you are actually having persons sitting around your bar, then you are operating a prohibited bar. And that is a citation that carries a fine of $2,000. Plus, every patron that is patronizing your bar is cited also $300 for patronizing your business. Dame said while the number of people going into places like bars have decreased, the unit continues to patrol beaches and parks where people tend to gather. The unit is up and about every day, ensuring that the business places and members of the public are following the protocols. And that is actually seen out in the numbers of times that we have been visiting beaches, some 400 plus times. Uh, the unit have visited for year to date 23,000 time business visits. Uh, we have visited over 400 parks and cultural sites just to ensure that persons are following the protocol. Dames added that a number of businesses have also been cited for allowing too many patients into their doors. Last month, police shut down an event attended by hundreds of people at Bahama Barrels and fined the event's organizer $92,000 for violation of the COVID-19 emergency order. Reporting for Guardian News Network, I'm Jasmine Brown.